of Utah. Joining us this morning is Ryan Smith, the owner of the NHL's newest franchise, Utah Hockey Club. Ryan, who also owns the Utah Jazz, helping to turn Utah into a very major sports destination. Ryan, it's great to talk to you. I, I got to imagine you've got a keen interest in this list. Uh, a, little, a little bit. It's good to be back, Carl. Hope you're well, man. Well, you too. What does it say about your efforts uh, to, to dive into not just league, this league, but multiple sports leagues in Utah? I mean, look, there's nothing. I, I mean, I'm normally here for tech. It's, it's pretty weird to be back here for sports. <laughs> but uh, look, there's nothing that brings people together like sports. And if you look at hockey and the momentum it's having, um, its best years are definitely ahead of it. Um, also, just live events in general. I mean, we're starting to see a massive trend, whether it's music, F1, NFL, college football, NBA. And in hockey, it's not uncommon that the, those who frequent these events can't stop talking about how hockey's just different. And um, we're seeing that here in Utah. Hey, Ryan, Michael Ozanian, great to see you again. I was curious, when you were bringing the team over to Utah and thinking about that, did you look at it all the success the NHL had with its last two expansion teams in Las Vegas and Seattle? as sort of like maybe some benchmarking on how to make hockey work in Utah? Yeah, it's, it's an interesting process because it's never really been done and there's not really a playbook in each individual market. I mean, my wife's from Las Vegas, and if you would have told me that the Knights would have come in and just painted the town and, you know, their, their branding and everywhere you go, it's the Vegas Knights. I mean, everyone said you were crazy. And I think it's similar for Utah. So there's a massive bet that you have to make because it hasn't been done in your town. But watching how, especially a market like Vegas that typically isn't a winter sports market, it's right next door to us. We're very familiar. There's a lot of crossover in those two states. Um, it, gave, it gave us a lot of confidence. Um, but moving that team up in such a quick time from Arizona, uh, there really wasn't a playbook. Uh, it's just it was just really a bet. How important, Ryan, is the ability to create mixed use real estate as well? That's we see that become bigger and bigger in sports uh, for all the leagues, really. And I know that you've been looking at some of that for Utah to extend the brand and be able to monetize the brand further. Yeah, I, I mean, you do it for a couple of different reasons. I mean, there's, you know, in, in real estate, anchor tenants are everything. And um, there's not an anchor tenant that's like a sports team. I think the question becomes is like, what are you doing it for? For, for us in Salt Lake, I mean, we've got a pretty big project to, to really help create the experience, um, which I think we do a great job inside the arena, but how do we elongate that experience out into the community? And um, there's a lot to offer, especially with two teams that are going every other night. I mean, in February, we have 11 nights in a row in Utah where every other night's basketball, mm -hmm. hockey. We yeah. haven't seen that before. I mean, we've got millions of new people coming in. We've also tapped into a completely different demographic. I think 60% of our fans um, hadn't been to an event for hockey. Our hockey fans had not been to an event in Delta Center um, in the last three years. And so we've really broadened who our target demographic is. And then also, we've had such a tech insertion here. I mean, we're a top three tech market in the country um, in the growth in Utah. You've got a lot of people who are saying, hey, we're going to sit down as a family and we're all going into Utah hockey and kind of starting at the ground floor, which is something that people can get excited about. Mm -hmm. yeah. I know it has uh, engendered huge response from Salt Lake, especially, mm. which is a demographically pretty young town. Mm. Uh, Ryan, it's great to talk to you. We'll be seeing more of you on TV in the near future. Our thanks. All right, Ryan thanks, Smith guys. And Mike Ozanian here on thanks. set.